Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Blitz promo reveal that we'll be dropping tomorrow night, I believe, at 8 p.m. So, pretty much, guys, Thanksgiving at 8 p.m. is when you have to be dealing with this. But again, in years past, it's always been like this. You got to run back during Thanksgiving dinner, take a bathroom break, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, or just run out and don't say a word. No one really question you, usually. Unless you're the center of attention at your Thanksgiving, you know, festivities, whether or not you're doing that this year. But moving on from that, guys, heading on into this, before we get into the video, I want to shout out the Poodle Squad for today. And if you guys want a chance to shout it out, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. Now, someone did specifically request this, so shout out to Seth Harmeyer for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much, man, for showing support in each and every video. But about it for that, guys, let's head on over. Let's get into this video. So first, we get the Blitz Welcome Pack. Now, the Blitz Welcome Pack, very self-explanatory. We'll come with two items here. You'll have a Tyree Kill 81. Yes, guys, Tyree Kill did get a Master Card. As you know, that's what that's hinting. And the Welcome to Blitz. Now, moving on, guys, this is the first thing. We get the Blitz mission right here. Blitz is here. And it's time to earn some Blitz Bolts to exchange for unique offers. All activities under this mission will be available from 11.26 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time on December 1st at 4 p.m. So this will last about five days, give or take. Oh, depending on, you know, how many days are in the month. Didn't check that. Intro challenges. Blitz is here, and it's time to earn some Blitz bolts. Take on these challenges to earn some and see what, go see what is available in the store. Master sets. We know speed rules mutt, and we've delivered on some fast guys for you to chase. Use this mission to see how to earn 94 overall cam chances. We got Bam Cam back in the game, and 93 overall Tyree kill. These sets will no longer be available after December 8th, so the promo lasts to the 1st, but then you have until the 8th to really just clean up and finish up whatever you want to do on the promo. Blitz limited time events offers. If you want fast, you've got to check out these limited time activities and store offers for each day of the Blitz. This will contain the entire schedule for the Blitz promo. So there's Blitz 1, Blitz Day 2, Blitz Day 3, and 3 more. Now there's going to be a different uh, house offer alternating it pretty much every day. House rules. Uh, so let's see, we got Blitz Day 1, 2, 3, 4, and however many other days there are. One hour offer the 50 stacked players. So there's gonna be like limited time. There's gonna be limited time offers. That's always how the blitz has worked. One hour store offer. This offer will become available at 9 p.m. and will remain up for one hour. And you have to, you have you can purchase limit of one player. So it'll be a 50 stacked player. It'll be a certain price point. You have an hour to buy it. They're not doing global limits. I said this year, which is great because in the years past, guys, it'd be like midnight global limit of a platinum player quick sell for super cheap. And we just, I made like no joke like a million coins off that one time. But then the next night they did it again. Everyone was ready for it. The servers crashed. No one got them. They went out of stock super fast. It's kind of like buying an Xbox right now. This exact, like, no joke. If you guys want to know what it felt like when Blitz had global limits, like only, you know, only 10,000 packs in the world out of everyone playing, it felt like buying an Xbox, just so you guys know, or PS5. Moving on. Blitz Day 2. So this is just one of the schedules here, Blitz Day 2. For 24 hours, there will be a hot house rules hotspot. The special one hour offer will be all pro and most feared packs from 8, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then these are the day, like the, the hour they offer. So at the 12 hour mark, so that's, you know, 12 in the morning, 12 at night, it will be Team of the Week bundle to Blitz players, and there will be limited time challenges. And then from 12 p.m. to 11 a.m., there will be Legends bundle, Blitz players, limited time challenges. And then the eight hour marks is going to be all promo feared. And then Quick Sells 100 Blitz Bolts for 50 coins. And then Game Changer, Autumn Blast, and Quick Sells for 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if you guys understand, that's pretty much every four, you know, every, um, this will be every eight hours on that day. Every four, you know, for this will be 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. This will be the eight-hour mark. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., the other eight-hour mark. And then 4 p.m. to 11 a.m., the other eight-hour mark. And then there's the big 12, uh, every 12-hour 12 interval. So pretty much twice a day. Moving on, guys. We got the hot spot blitz. Switch it up with some house rules. Get as many wins as possible on blitz bolts. It's going to be pot spot show off, and they're going to be alternating. Um, then over here, if you guys get up to five wins, you get 100 blitz bolts. 10 wins, 200, 300, 700, 100, 200, 300, 750. So you can get a total of what it seems like. I'd say about three or a little over 3k blitz bolts there. Up to 75 trophies is your max reward, and then add those up. And probably a total of about like 30 to about 40,000 coins right there. Next, oh, we skipped one. Okay, right here. So, blitz, need for speed is going to be the solo sequences. As though I think it's, I guess it's um, shortened there. Uh, you get 50 blitz bolts. Now, here you go. You will be getting milestones, of course, as per usual. 50 blitz bolts for tier one, 50 blitz bolts for tier two, 50 blitz bolts for tier three. And then, of course, we do have 200 Blitz Bolts for Tier 6, 50 Blitz Bolts for Tier 7, and then, again, whatever the next one is. Here, this screenshot got a little messed up. So here are the masks. We've got 94 Camp Chancellor and 93 Tyra Kill. Guys, these are going to be the expensive ones that I was telling you guys about, which you need Blitz tickets. So let's just say a uh, Game Changer pack costs, you know, 1,000, right? 1,000 Blitz Bolts. Let's just say that 1,000 Blitz Bolts will get you a Game Changer pack and, let's say, five Blitz tickets. 
so you can now put blitz ticket into here so pretty much every blitz offer you do into buying goes directly to blitz tick has an interval of blitz tickets right so it's not an exact science usually usually it's like kind of random but like a game changer will get you five and you need a total of 120 so you will have to get pretty much a thousand like you know 100 times more than that right just to get up to there or, you know you guys get the point 20 times more so you let's just say you did it by that math you would need five per game changer pack you need about 20 to 24 packs game changer packs which would be 24,000 blitz bolts which if you convert that to money that may even be 200 bucks worth of blitz bolts right so that's how it's going to convert these players should probably be expensive money wise but if you wait for madden to really bring the price down and you know to crash a little bit you can probably get a decent price on them i know lamar wasn't crazy priced for that long last year and in years past guys this player has been able to be very expensive but the way madden's been trending the market's been a lot cheaper than usual which is why i really don't recommend you go up you go about and spend all your hard-earned money on this but it is what it is on that. I mean, I will, I will enjoy some offers, but I don't think I'll go for the Masters. I'll probably just buy them off the block. Trust me. And then Cam's 150. Cam's 150. That's even more. So these are the Blitz tickets right here. Pretty much, like I said, you get Blitz tickets for anything. Like, So let's say they have the uh, one of the players, like a Dante Jackson store. He costs 3,000 Blitz bolts. You get back 15 Blitz tickets. Put those all in and keep going. So pretty much you got to take advantage. You have to pretty much participate in the Blitz to get these players um, off the sets. Of course, like I said, they will be auctionable. You can go ahead and get it. And you do get his power-up, guys. So if you, I told you guys if you had Tyreek Hill's power-up, I told you he was coming as a master one of these days, so make sure to sell it. Hopefully, you made your money off that. Next, guys, here's one of the offers, like as an example, for one hour is when it was. It's going to be a stack. It says two days, but it's really one hour. Uh, pretty much about nine bucks with EA access for a 50 stack, 91 plus overall player. Is that a decent offer? Probably. Blitz pack 35K. And again, look right here. So uh, if you get a Blitz bundle, it comes with an additional 2,000 Blitz bolts to have on the side, which is pretty cool as well. And they're going to be math, you know, worked out for what each one's worth. Next, guys, here we go. So, this is a, uh, a 90 overall Blitz Brandon Ayuk. So, this is what we're talking about. So, it will cost 2,300 Blitz Bolts to get Brandon Ayuk, and it comes with 13 Blitz Bolts. So, based on that math, it's look like if it's just off that math, it's not going to be exact, but you're going to need about, let's say, times 10 of these. You're going to be about, yeah, about 23,000, 23, 22,000 ish Bolts is what's probably going to cost to get a uh, Tyreek Kill done. Here you go, right here. Jason Verrett just going to go over the player qu uh, quickly here. Jason Verrett, 90 speed, 90 excel. Not going to be that great. Again, he can't get 90 in zone, but he can't get 90 man. Kyle Rudolph, way too slow, 83 speed. Could get the medium route running threshold though. So I guess if you're on, a, if you're like on a Vikings team team, he might be decent. But I probably still opt for Irv, uh, Irv Smith, whatever his name is. If you can get one like a gold card of him, it's probably faster. Uh, Montez Sweat. Now this is actually really good. 90 speed, 92 excel, 78 strength, 86 tackle, but 87 finesse is what matters here. So if you can chem him up, get his finesse move above 90, he's going to be an amazing, amazing budget pass rusher. Of course, no block shit, but that's kind of what you deal with when you get budget pass rushers. Chris Godwin, 89 speed. He is going to be horrible because that speed. Um, bad catching and bad route running. He can get the medium route running threshold, and that is about it. He powered up and get maybe the short as well. But he's going to be bad. He's going to be not a good deep route runner, not a good catcher. No catch and traffic spec catch. And, well, he's a good catcher, but not like the stats that really matter to me. And no speed. Next, we got Emmanuel Agba for the Miami Dolphins. He's got 85 speed, 87 power move, and 82 block shot. So, again, budget pass rusher not going to be as good as Sweat because of the speed. And they both can't run off, uh, stop the run. Daryl Henderson Jr. for the Rams, 90 speed, 87 broken tackle, 92 agility, uh, excel, 89 agility, decent card, not going to be a budget beast, you know, we have like, we have Monster and a few other guys for that, we got the new Ronald Jones, Brandon Ayuk right here, 92 speed, 93 jumping, good, bad route running, bad catching, he can get the short running threshold, he cannot get the medium, he can get the deep as well, if, but you can only pick one, so he's going to get a deep, so he's going to get one route running threshold, depending on your team, and he's going to be fast, no power, uh, I think Brandon Ayuk's an L personally, unless you have a 49 ers steam team. Dante Jackson actually looks really, really good because that speed, 94 speed, and he can be powered up, so he's going to get 95 speed. And by the way, some of these guys didn't actually have a power-up yet. I don't know about Dante Jackson, but pretty much EA hinted that we will be getting new power-ups soon in the game, so stay tuned for that. But 95 speed, you can get him up to above 90 man, above 90 play rec. You can get him up to like an 88 zone and an only an 88 press. He's going to be good uh, for like a budget team per se, you know, like maybe a, a not a god squad. You just want the speed, but he's not going to be that great in terms of coverage so maybe as a user if he has good change of direction you can maybe even use him like in a big nickel you know nickel corner scheme next guys we do have zach martin zach martin's actually really good as well powered up and chemed up he will have pretty much every threshold here besides pass block finesse i think they did hurt him in the pass block uh, game just a little bit all 80s there and he's a pretty good pass blocker as well in my opinion but again not bad maybe you can get one of them for free or something jadavion Clowney, he's going to be a 91 overall outside linebacker uh what's good about him is he's got 91 power move 88 block shed, 80, 85 speed power him up, put run stuff on him. He'll have a run stopping threshold, have a power move threshold, play wrecking threshold, excel above 90, 86 speed will be really good. Probably not, probably not meta, but good. As well as guys, they did hint there'll be a crazy good LTD that apparently said everyone's going to want, but they're going to hint that out on the Instagram page later. Buda Baker, 92 overall, run support for safety. 
Powered up and counted up guys who have 92 speed, 93 excel, 93 play rec, 88 man, 86 zone, 90 power. Now the beauty of this is with lockdown, you'll get above 90 zone, above 90 man, 92 speed, above 90 hit power. He's going to be a very, very well-rounded corner. Will he be the meta? Uh, sorry, safety. Will he be the meta safety? Not sure, but he's going to be great. Tyreek Kill, what are we waiting for? 94 speed, 87 jumping, 89 catching, 87 catch in traffic, 88 spec, 90 short route running, 89 medium route running, and 93 deep route running. So kept up and powered up, guys. He will get up to, I think, a 99 deep route running, which I don't know how much that's going to affect things, but he's probably going to get up to that. Uh, medium will be above 90, short route will be above 90, and spec will be above 90. So that's all that matters right there, right? He's going to have all the route running thresholds with 95 speed. He's going to be the best card in Madden probably because you can't, you can't argue that, right? 95 speed with all the route running thresholds. Gonna be crazy, guys. Get get your hands on him. He's gonna be expensive. And then Cam Chance, the 89 speed's kind of an L, but if you power him up and cam him up, he will get to a 98-ish zone. He will get to a 90 man. He'll get to a 90 speed. I think he'll be better as a linebacker. If you put him in that linebacker, he's gonna be insane. Being able to stop the run pretty well, hit power, speed. As a linebacker, I don't think he's a you know deep safety. Hey guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you want a chance to shout out to the Poodle Squad, comment down below. Poodle Squad, like the video, turn the noti bell. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. You're gonna need coins for them up for the splits. Pick up some coins that you can then convert into blitz bolts, or we probably be even selling blitz bolts on the side as well. So check that out at that point. Head over, use code Poodle for 15% off. Use that's it. Take advantage. I'm out. Peace.